Hi and hello guys. So a couple of days back I posted a video uh, on multiple wakeword trigger for Google Assistant on Pi. So I have completed all the coding and all this process. The kit is ready to be updated. And before uh, taking you guys through the portions of the kit, here is a quick demo. So right now uh, I am running a Google Assistant on uh, Pi 0W and this is a custom DAC that I made and I'm using a web uh, microphone for uh, as an input uh, device and speakers connected so by default I have uh, given authorizations for two big words by default I have set one of them to Jarvis or it could be Snowboy and the other one is uh, Alexa Another uh, key feature of this is, see even if you are using the Pi 0W, you can control the GPIO pins uh, using uh, custom commands without uh, if or API.ai. So right now I have not connected any uh, LEDs to the GPIO pins. So but I recorded a small clip while testing. So here it is. Alexa. Trigger kitchen lights on. So now if you see the light has been turned on. So when you actually start the snowboy. Starting snowboy service. So in fact you can start uh, the snowboy as a background service and uh, use the Pi as a headless unit. Alexa, what is the time now? Time is 1228 AM. So in fact, uh, if you connect an LED to GPIO 22, you will get a blink uh, when the wake word is detected. Jarvis, how is the weather forecast for tomorrow? Water for tomorrow. It'll be partly cloudy with a high of 15 and a low of 7 degrees Celsius. So apart from controlling the GPIO pins, you can also use the custom commands to shut down the pie. Alexa, trigger shut down. So the Pi has actually shut down. Okay, so now over to Pi 3 for a quick demo on controlling the GPIO pins. Starting Snowboy service. Hi. So that is the two tones that you heard. Uh, one was for uh, starting the Snowboy service. The other one was uh, the Google's. So not all. So now uh, let's check the GPIO trigger. Alexa, trigger kitchen lights on. Turning on the device. So now if you see the third uh, LED has been turned on. Snowboy. Trigger bathroom lights on. Turning on the device. Alexa, trigger kitchen lights off. Turning off the device. And uh, even you can control the GPIOs using the normal uh, Google method. Hey Google, trigger bathroom lights off. Turning off the device. Okay, so as you see, that is what it is. Okay, so let me just move over to the installation instructions and all the stuff. 
so guys like uh, the previous projects of mine uh, the instructions are uh, pretty straightforward and easy to follow so for the wakeword or the custom wakeword implementation what we are actually doing is for raspberry pi 3 uh, we are using the hot word uh, the google assistant sdk hot word and then for the custom wake word uh, we are using the snowboy to trigger the uh, grpc modules okay so the reason for uh, using the grpc instead of directly uh, modding the hot word uh, dot pi is because there is one particular uh, command called uh, the assistant dot start conversation so it is not uh, starting automatically so even if we force it to start it is not starting there is some command in the google api that is blocking it i have already opened an issue regarding that in the google uh, sdk uh, git page official git page so i am following it uh, following on it so if it gets fixed i'll release an update and so in meanwhile uh, i was drafting my own version of the snowboy code and a couple of days before i had it almost done and then i came across warchild md's repo so i felt that uh, that was much better than mine and hence uh, i left out my code and i have included and modded uh, his repo so if you find any issues with this um, please uh, let me know in the comments or the issues uh, we will uh, revert back uh, to my version of the code so first up, uh, thanks to Warchild MD for his repo. And then this is the usual stuff, setting up your audio. See, if you are using the Raspberry Pi 0W, you might be using some DACs or hats or something for uh, audio out. So if that is the case, uh, you can set up the DAC or hat according to the manufacturer's uh, instructions. And then most probably you'll be using a USB mic, I suppose. So if that is the case, uh, you can modify the CON file for the USB DAC. Let me just show you quickly. So I have already included uh, all these frequency parameters and all those stuff for uh, any future DACs that, might you, that you might use. So this will automatically eliminate any popping sounds. So yesterday I helped out one of my subscribers to set up uh, using the Adafruit, uh, I think it is speaker bonnet and a usb mic so he said that uh, he used the usb DAC configuration after changing the hardware ids and it seemed that it worked so this will also reduce the popping sound so i insist you to use this if you are using any third party hats or uh, DACs or whatever and then if you are using the uh, onboard jack in case of raspberry pi 3 and the hdmi in case of uh, by zero just make sure to force the audio through that and then if you scroll down below as usual you need to download the credentials file and paste it in the home.py folder and here this is the major change or overhaul i have done so no more uh, step after step installation i have created an uh, one uh, click or a uh, one command installation say if you are using the pi 3 uh, or pi 2 whichever supports the uh, google uh, official hot word the ok google uh, hot word use the pi 3 setup and uh, others use the pi 0 and then of course you need to use the snowboy in both these cases so while installing uh, first you need to run the snowboy installer and then your uh, google assistant installers so after that uh, you can check the working by moving into the environment and this is pretty much it guys so we are almost towards the end first you need to install the services uh, for that you need to make the service installer executable and then uh, execute the service installer so that will uh, create all the services uh, whatever you need so even though the service installer will process all the services that are there in the system md folder what you need to actually do is you need to delete uh, whichever is not appropriate to you say for example if you are a pi0 user you can delete the 
ok google service so that uh, the service installer doesn't process that ok so after that you can enable the service and start the service so if you go into the resources directory you will find a ton of models the ok google model the alexa and jarvis snowboy etc so you can use it according to your wants and wishes so let me just show you as to where you need to insert the models so unlike the usual uh, snowboy installation where you run uh, two pieces of code uh, python uh, the snowboy space and then that is how you usually uh, execute the snowboy so but in this case what i have actually done is i have directly assigned the path files to the models in the script itself so if you want to change any uh, models in the scripts uh, say if you want to change any models you need to change the path over here and i have given you a led uh, connection to the gpio 22 to create a blink effect so whenever a wake word is detected okay so that is pretty much it uh, in regards to the uh, installation so if you are uh, already having any google assistant installed i would insist you to erase the sd card and start fresh because in this case uh, the entire installation is based on uh, python 2 it is not python 3 so snowboy is not compatible with uh, python 3 right now so there are some issues so for snowboy to work as a service we need to use python 2 so since we are making all these codes uh, talk between them we have to use uh, common version of python for both uh, the google assistant as well as snowboy since snowboy doesn't work in uh, python 3 i had to use uh, python 2 for google assistant as well so i have taken care of all those stuff in the one click installation or the one line installation you need not worry about anything so just follow the instructions if you come up with any issues uh, you can either uh, open up here or post it in the comments in the video i'll try to address it as fast as possible or whenever when i uh, so as and when i find time okay so that is pretty much it guys so here you have it one google assistant for all your uh, raspberry pi boards so i really hope that you find this video useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos thank you